What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Detroit Lions Sim franchise year five. We're starting the second half of the season here in week 10. Let's do some scouting and then we'll sim week 10 and see how we do. So we've got the Bears on the road. We are four and four. Chicago's two and six. Should hopefully be an easy matchup. See if we can get the victory. We do in fact get the victory. Let's take a look at the box score. It's a 36 to 30 victory over the Bears. Check out the stats here. 471 yards of total offense. Two takeaways get it done this went into overtime so it's an overtime victory oh, Brian Hoyer got in the game 369 yards one touchdown one interception and Matthew Stafford haven't played this in a while is he injured he must be injured because he has nothing in this game let's go back to player stats here Take a look at the rushing Theo Riddick 76 and Abdullah 22 with two touchdowns. Riddick with a touchdown as well. Let's see, Golden Tate, eight catches, 147 yards. Kevin White, 102. And so on, so on here. Let's take a look at the defensive stats. Any sacks by this Detroit Lions team? Dontre Morgan gets a sack. DeAndre Levy, half a sack. Any interceptions? One by Darius Slay and one by Frederick Brandon. Let's go take a look at the injury report real quick. And we will see what's up with Stafford. I don't remember him being injured before this game. But he's not injured. Why is he not the starter? I'm not sure why. We got a Connor Barwin, a broken collarbone. I think that is new. Not sure why Stafford is not starting then. Is it the overall? It can't be the overall, there's no way. He's not, I don't know why Stafford did not play in this game. What is the coach doing? That's a little weird that he did not play in this game. Just a little weird that he didn't. Let's upgrade our team, auto upgrade real quick. Go back to scouting and come back for week 11. So we have a week 11 matchup with the 5-4 Tampa Bay Bucks on the road again. Can we get the victory? Let's find out. We do get the victory. And we got a matchup with the Bears again coming up. Let's take a look at the box score though from this game. It's a 31-13 victory. Did Stafford play? We will find out here in a minute. Two more takeaways. And it is Stafford playing in this game. I'm not sure why he didn't play in that Week 10 game. No touchdowns, one interception. Theo Riddick, 77 yards. Abdullah, 42, and each of them with a touchdown. Golden Tate, 5 for 71. And Landry, 32 yards receiving. 68 for Kevin White. Looking at the defensive stats here real quick. DeAndre Morgan with another sack and I meant to go look at the interceptions here one by Nate Cole Glover Quinn with one looks like we had a fumble recovery we did Darius Slay with the fumble recovery and the forced fumble so take a look at the injury report hopefully no one else is on there hopefully we can continue this winning streak let's take a look here and you hear Whitehead hamstring tear out for seven weeks. So the rest of the regular season and probably some of the postseason if we make it. Time for some scouting though, and then we'll get our matchup at home against the Bears. So we have this matchup at home against the two and eight Bears. We beat them just in week 10. Can we do it again? Do not do it. They take us down at home. 24-20 loss to the Bears. We really needed that victory there. 
not looking good for our playoff hopes, I don't think. Let's look at the tail of the tape. Two more takeaways. Stafford, 266 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Abdullah, 64 yards, Riddick, 35. Each of them with a touchdown, though. They're continuing their good play. Cameron Bernard, 70 yards on six receptions. Landry, 93 yards. Tate, 59. Not much going on there. Defensively, it is Morgan with another sack. That's three straight games with a sack for Morgan. Frederick Brandon with another interception. It looks like we got another fumble recovery. This time it is Eric Kendricks with the forced fumble and the fumble recovery. Hopefully no new injuries this week either as we head into the final game of the episode. Let's take a look at that injury report. We did get a new one, Leon Hall, broken hand. So all these guys are going to miss the rest of the regular season. And maybe the first week of the playoffs, if we can somehow make it. Do some more scouting, and then we'll play this, or sim the final game of the episode. Okay, let's sim this final game of this episode against the 6-5 and five Minnesota Vikings. Really going to need this. We got the Packers after this, so we need this victory. We do, in fact, get the victory. Take a look at the box. Holy moly, do you see that score? Holy cow, 62-21. to 21. Oh, my goodness, what happened to the Vikings in this game? Damn. 14 points, 14 points, 17 and 17. Holy crap. They turned the ball over four times. 509 yards of total offense. Wow. Stafford, 288. Five touchdowns for Stafford. Theo Riddick, a touchdown on 106 yards. Abdullah with two touchdowns. 51 yards for him. Wow, we killed it. Landry, 123 yards receiving, two touchdowns. Kevin White, a touchdown. Who else got a touchdown for us? Theo Riddick got one receiving as well, and so did Eric Ebron. Holy moly. Holy moly. What a beatdown by the Lions on the Vikings. Wow. DeAndre Morgan, a sack and a half, continues his streak. Interceptions by Eric Kendricks and Darius Slay, and some more forced fumbles, it looks like and fumble recoveries. Yes, it is. Gordon Rogers with a fumble recovery and forced fumble, along with Micah Patrick, or Micah, Micah, Muka, I don't know. Wow, so let's take a look. I guess we should take a look at the injury report just in case we lose another guy. And you can see there which we'll, where we're going next. We didn't lose anybody else, so that's good. But we're going to the standings, and yes, the Lions atop the NFC North at 7-5. So that was a first place matchup there. We got the Vikings coming up first in the next episode. They're right behind us by two games, 5-7. and seven. So right now we're atop the NFC North. Let's take a look at the NFC standings as far as playoff position goes. Two games behind the Seahawks for the best record. One game behind the Redskins. So it looks like it's the Eagles. And, well, the Rams in the wild card right now since we are division leader. Let's take a look at some stats real quick before we end this episode. From our team, Stafford 18th in the NFL passing. He's got 2,600 yards, 18 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Not bad, really. Could do better on the interceptions. Theo Riddick, 885 yards. He should get 1,000 yards this season. That looks good. 6 touchdowns, 8 for Abdullah. Not bad. Receiving Landry, he could get 1,000 yards this year. Kevin White possibly could, too. And so could Golden Tate. 
We got three receivers that can hit 1,000 yards receiving, six touchdowns for Landry, four for White, three for Tate. Jalen Strong really not doing much for us on the season. Let's look at the defensive stats. I want to see where Dontre Morgan is here. He's not in first. It's Zeke Alonzo with eight. Morgan's got seven and a half sacks. Interceptions, it is Frederick Brandon with five. And Darius Slay with four. And far, forced fumbles. If I get it out of my mouth, two by Slay. Recovered as well. Kendricks as well. And there you go, some stats. Let's see if there's any transactions, any big transactions from these last few weeks. Any big signings? Don't know that guy. It's just something Gilbert to a five-year, $25.6 million deal. No big deals there. Trey Terrell, six years, 35.9 to the Bengals. Here's a big one, Josh Robertson, six years, 44.7 million. Nick Grayson, six years, 46.2. So some big contracts being handed out here. Sean Godfrey, Stephen Gilmore, um, Stefan Wisniewinski. Ooh, that's a hard one to pronounce. Michael Brockers, Avery Morgan, Jalen Newman, seven year, 48.9 million dollar deal. Wow, that's a big one. And there are all the new contracts. I don't remember seeing these in week nine, but there's some big contracts. Ben Roethlisberger, two years. I think we remember seeing that one. But the Lions, they go, I believe we went, what, three and one in this episode? So we sit at seven and five atop the NFC North. If you like this video, hit that like button and share it. Hit that subscribe button if you want more Detroit Lions Sim franchise. And as always, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Madden Ballers. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode.